especially now that rates are at 7.25 uh, at this point, we need to let you know, listen, let's try to make some, let, let's try to, to, to work with, um, with folks who are gonna work with us. Not to say that we're gonna hide from anybody, but let's make good decisions and good financial decision when you purchase a home. Because you can purchase a home and, and it can cost you big money, mm -hmm. right? And so that's some of the things that, that, that we wanna protect you from. So this is a, this is a great topic for if you guys have more information, if you want more information, you can call us. I mean, if there's something on your mind, let us know, and we will try to try to kind of bring that to you. And the last thing I want to say, and if you're one of those sellers who are like, yes, I, I don't have to pay the buyer's agent anymore, I'm just going to say you're going to have good luck trying to sell your home if you're not willing to work with anybody or, so, you know, or butter up the deal, right? I'm like, going I'm, I'm to give you an example. I have many, many examples. One of the examples is I... Uh, I spoke to a, I listed a home uh, for $119,000. I got the $119,000. It's a, it's a one bedroom condo, but that was a couple of years ago. And so the seller next door called me and said, uh, how much you get for that property? I said, I got what I listed for $119,000. Mm -hmm. And he was ticked off. Literally, he was mad. How you get hundred? I mean, he because he did not want to pay commission. He sold for ninety nine thousand, and he could not take it that he lost just about twenty G's. I told him you could have called me, hired me, paid me, and then get more money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And things like this happen all the time. It's, I'm only giving you one 